Today we're going to take a look at the pricing models for MongoDB serverless and Cloud Firestore through Firebase. So we'll get right into this. Uh, so first I made this Desmos graph. Uh, I will leave the link available in the description down below if you want to play with it yourself. Uh, and I got the prices from these respective pricing pages. So for MongoDB, the Cloud Firestore, uh, which uses Google Cloud pricing. Um, so anyways, we'll get into it. First, we're going to look at reads. Uh, these are, or this is how pricing scales for reads with MongoDB versus, now, uh, one thing you should know is that for Firebase, or for Cloud Firestore rather, it depends which region you're storing your data in. So I'm including US multi-region and North Virginia to kind of get a comparison between the two. Multi-region will always be more expensive than one location, or at least more expensive than nor Northern Virginia. Um, so as you see here, um, it's, 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 okay, so one thing you have to understand about MongoDB is that it's not linear if you're making a lot of same day. So this is a per day thing. Uh, if you're not making enough to justify the lower tiers for MongoDB, uh, and every day will be on this dotted line right here. Um, so it kind of depends how, how many reads you're making, uh, which pricing tier. Um, so, uh, obviously, Pricing scales a lot faster for US multi-region than Northern Virginia or uh, MongoDB serverless. Even if you aren't hitting any of the cheaper tiers, MongoDB serverless is still going to be cheaper than um, Firestore, unless you're in this really small area down here, which constitutes the free tier for Firebase. Now, one thing I didn't recognize is just how small the, the free tier is on like a relative scale. Um, I had never bought anything to production before, so to look at the free tier for Firebase, it looks ooh fancy. But I mean, relative to the full scale here, free tier is really not that much. So that's just something to keep in mind here. Um, now the pricing for Firebase will be a little bit more competitive once we get down to writes, which we'll go to next. So again, we're comparing against Northern Virginia and U.S. multi-region, and check that okay so as you can see right scale linearly for all three of these um multi-region mongodb and north northern virginia and again we have a very small free tier for cloud firestore i have to zoom in so much to even get there um, but you can see here that there is a little bit of a benefit from the free tier from firestore and that's on a, a monthly basis i'm pretty sure uh don't quote me on that uh but here you can see the pricing is kind of give or take, depending on how you're storing your data in Cloud Firestore, um, MongoDB kind of sits right in the middle. Um, now, finally, we'll take a look at storage before we're talking about a few other considerations. So here's storage for uh, MongoDB and storage for Firestore. And as you can see, this is one area where uh, Cloud Firestore beats MongoDB. Both multi-region and Northern Virginia are cheaper than uh, MongoDB serverless, um, and I guess the the thing to consider is I don't know how much storage is going to be the thing that causes you a lot of cost. Um, again, I could be wrong. Maybe you are not writing that much, but you have a lot of data to store. That could be the case. Um, so I think at this point, it kind of the question kind of comes down to: Are you storing a lot of data? Because writes are kind of give or take, and are you reading a lot of data? you're reading a lot of data, but you're not storing that much data, MongoDB is probably the way to go. If you are not reading that much, but you are storing a lot of data, then Firestore is probably the way to go. Um, because again, writes are give and take. Now, there's one other thing to consider, and that's uh, networking costs. Actually, there are a couple other considerations, but probably the biggest one is networking costs. Um, also, MongoDB allows for data backup um, but okay, so the thing with networking costs here uh, is MongoDB does, does it by data transfer and it's all inbound and outbound data. Um, and it's variable pricing, so it depends on the traffic source and destination right here. Um, and that's the same thing for Firestore. Um, you'll notice, okay, so uh, egress. Okay, so Firestore does not charge for ingress, only egress. And the cheapest it gets to is $0.08 cents per gigabyte. And the most expensive MongoDB gets to is 
10 cents per gigabyte. So generally speaking, in data transfer, MongoDB is going to win, uh, except for if you get over 10 terabytes per Firestore, then maybe justify um, using that. Again, unless you have a lot of writes um, and not that many reads, because then your ingress will be writes, and that is not charged for Cloud Firestore. Um, yeah, okay, I think that's everything I wanted to talk about. Um, I don't know what other considerations there might be, so if you have any, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, this was just a quick little comparison I wanted to make. Um, and if I think of anything else, I'll also leave it either in a pinned comment or in the description. I'm really curious to know what you think about this. I'm curious to see uh, if anyone has any experience with one or the other, if there's any recommendation that you would make just based on a factor I'm not considering here. Um, so yeah, just feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Okay, have a good one. Bye.